Okay, so we're going to do some white tree poppies. So I'm wetting the background and just preserving what I want to be white or light. We're not too much. thought at this stage because I want the water to do the talking which gives you a much more exciting flower and if you okay so we've got ultramarine blue hmm. just the tip of the brush not enough ultramarine blue into that I'm dropping Viridian turn the brush around just to pull there's no masking or anything on this I'll concentrate on one right off the edge get a cobalt violet just to grey it down a bit Remember this is wet. Bit of sludge off the palette. Introduce a bit of opera rose and a bit of cobalt violet together there. Just to ring the changes for no other reason. Just water right off the paper so I don't get a halo effect. introduce some areal in which should give me a nice suggestion of stems in the background hmm not running right well, how's that thinking start to think about some shadow colours in between remember this is dry Not too much, otherwise we'll use the white, which is what we're painting. Pick up a little bit of that colour and bring it up. To suggest some form, whilst there's quite a lot of white. Sorry, there is quite a lot of colour in white. It's not just all. Otherwise, we just have a white blob. Pick up the edge of that one. Too hard. Right, start to think about the centre. Um, I'm going to use a warm yellow, which is. New Gamboge or Cadmium Yellow, any warm yellow on the underside. Make opportunity to negative paint against that. Doesn't matter if this colour runs into this because there would be some reflected light picking up that colour. Change to a real in, which is cooler on the top edge. Don't want that to run too far, so I've just been a little bit careful with the brush there. Same difference, that's stop moving a bit, and that's behind this one so it can be a bit fuzzier. And Gamboge. Start to think a little bit about the stem, stop moving. This is just all different colours off the palette. Too much about that just yet. So we've got the form. Need to just deepen underneath. Right, stop moving a little with a little bit more new gamboge with a touch 
have a reeling in. Is it moving? Not so much. Clear water. Just help it a little bit. Change back to a new gamboge. Okay, and that's it for stage one of a white flower. Okay. Right, so this is now all dry, and I'm just wetting this side. I'm doing it in two halves so that all this didn't run over here. And just end up with mud. So same principle. Find this white one quickly. Ultramarine blue underneath. Round the white petals. Going over some of this what we did before on negative painting behind that little bud. Remember this is the colour that we painted originally. Bit of negative around this stem. <laughs> little bit of a reeling. on this side currently because we've got a bit on that side. Off to water. The paint will only go where it's wet so you are always in control while you're controlling the wet. That was New Gamboge. That's thinking, let's just move up to this one. Change to a reeling, which is cooler for a downward light. Suggestion of sunlight. Right off the paper. Just help that a little bit. running in the direction that everything's growing so we get some rhythm. If we do that we want to now start to upset the rhythm. Just knock the white off this. Quite like these white bits in between so I'm going to leave those. A little bit of grey off the palette ok while well that's thinking turn our attention to this one we can use the shadow from the edge of this one to find that one Not too much, remember we're painting white petals, the more colour you put on, the less white it's going to get. Remember this is all dry in this white area, this is wet, so a little white line in there to preserve that from spilling over. Some new gamboge. Not enough new gamboge. Tickling with the edge of the brush. Remember this bit's dry. This bit's wet but this bit's dry. So we can pull out onto that. A reel in. Under the brush. 
she's quite good for this. And a little bit of opera rose. Just to sit that down. Let's just have a little bit under there. I think that's got a little bit of um, cobalt violet mixed in with it off the palette, but that's okay. I never actually wash my palette because all the little bits in the corner are quite useful colours. You can never mix those. Right. Do we want to do any more up here? I think I'll just give this a little bit of a wash. Just simply to connect it to this side of the painting. And we lost that petal a bit there. So let's just darken that down behind it. So that would be ultramarine blue. Remember this area is all dry. You can redefine that. And take the opportunity to correct any drawing that's gone a bit awry. Meridian. Do I want that any dark? I don't think so. So a little bit of iridium under here. Remember, I'm in control because all this is dry. Right, not far off now, so composition thinking. Do I need to find the edge suggestion? Yes, I do. Doesn't matter that that's now green, this will read the eye is easily deceived. A little bit in there just to find the edge of that. That's a dark bit of sludge again off the corner of the palette. Being careful, remember this is wet, where we wet it stage two. Little bit of cobalt violet. Enough. Right. We found that one. No we haven't. Need to just find in there. Might be wet enough to for too wet. Looking for dry areas. Just brighten that side. Too bright, soften. A little bit of iridium. Enough. Test how wet that is. Picture making now, just tweaking little bits and pieces. A bit darker in there. Hmm, that's doing nice thing. Get that down a bit more, a little bit of texture. Too much in danger of getting fussy. Um, do I want to say any more? No, I don't. So I'm quite happy with that. It's um, atmospheric, it's simple, and it tells a story, and it's good use of watercolour.